Hello everyone and welcome to this Friday afternoon sharing. Apologies, I announced it quite late in the day, so a little bit more spontaneous today. Um, I want to talk about the freestyle breath that I, those of you who've done some yoga with me, um, will have heard me prompt or talk about in the, in the practice. So, yeah, the breath. I mean, that's, that's a big, that's a big topic. There is so much going on uh, with the breath, around the breath, on the breath, to do with the breath in, in some way. So many uh, amazing techniques and uh, methods going on. I work with the breath. I run a whole um, kind of morning breathing practice three times a week. Um, there, there is a lot to say for the breath and, and <laughs> we can sometimes maybe just sort of talk a little bit too much about the breath, I wonder. And this is something that um, I have observed in, in yoga and the way that the breath is being prompted a little bit more traditionally in a, uh, in a yoga class. So, uh, in yoga with many styles there is quite a yeah you know it's kind of it's all about it's actually one of the things that yoga is all about that kind of bringing movement and breath together moving with the breath breathing into the practice and, and all of that but there's sort of quite a traditional way of that being prompted as in so we stay here we take three breaths or inhale do this and exhale do this Inhale, do this. Exhale, do this. Inhale, do this. <laughs> Exhale. So there's quite a little bit of that going on, and um, and I used to do that kind of that kind of yoga as well, but I'm somehow finding, even just as I'm saying it now, I know I was being a little bit flippant in the way that I was saying it, um, but you know, to kind of sort of make a point that. I'm just wondering whether that's actually really serving us in what, you know, in what the actual intention behind that is working with the breath. It's not like I don't work with the breath. I do. I love working with the breath. But this kind of prescriptive, you know, inhale, exhale, do this and that, I'm just wondering whether it's potentially missing the point a little bit, because what am I actually really trying to, to do here, right? I'm going to work with the breath in order to, you know, for the breath to actually really serve me in that, in that moment of my practice, to really serve me in that particular thing that I'm doing with my body, with movement. That's kind of what we're trying to do in my mind anyway. Um, yes, developing breath awareness. Uh, and you know, and improving our breathing capacity and all of that, you know, is, is also uh, kind of one aspect. But you know, we're talking about you know, I'm coming to the yoga mat and I'm prompting this breath along with the asana practice. So there's got to be a real intention behind that, um, you know. Otherwise, why would we do it? And so, to me, it's like we're trying to find a way of how this the, the breath can can serve what. I'm doing there on the on the mat and and I wonder whether this quite rigid pattern of inhale do this exhale do this inhale do this blah, 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 is really doing that or maybe might even kind of achieve the opposite because in in the way it feels to me my sense of it it feels very prescriptive um, there's a kind of sort of pressure behind it because you sort of also have to achieve it, you know, especially if it's a dynamic class, you know, you kind of have to keep up with it. Um, and to me, it kind of creates a certain tension and maybe even like a whole other habit in my system that actually, those of you who know my, my yoga, I'm actually trying to break down rather than develop new ones and add to them. So, yeah, you know, and it's not like, we, we, I know we often say, you know, some people are not even really aware that they're breathing. I, I've said that before. And, and it's kind of like true people, not everybody has a particularly good and healthy, deep, full diaphragmatic breath. 
um, especially when there is anxiety and stress in our system, everything is compromised when it comes to the breath. Yes, definitely. Um, and those people are also still breathing. It's not like they're not breathing, that they are breathing. So it's not as such really that necessary <laughs> to kind of prompt them in, in this way. Um, and it might even, even though our intention is to bring breath awareness and to encourage the breath to wake it up and all of that, it might actually also almost be a bit too much. It depends on where that person is actually at. We might not be really meeting them with those instructions where they are at that moment in time. So that actually even worries me a little bit. So for me, if I'm thinking about, okay, so, you know, why do I want to be prompting the breath or working with the breath in my yoga practice? To me, like I said, it's like, okay, so how, how is it really serving me? And in the way I practice, um, I think the main things is the breath helps me to understand and to understand the way I engage with the space as well as the earth, the space around me, my environment, as well as the ground. And it can also kind of encourage that engagement. So with my breath is how I pulsate into, into the world. So it's that, it's one of those rhythms in my being that actually gives me a relation with the world around me, with my environment. And that will serve me in the way that I would like to explore the postures because that's kind of what my posture work is actually about. It's also about how I'm relating and maybe reconnecting my relation, my more innate and natural relation with the earth that we just keep losing on a daily basis living in the western world and a concrete world. And the other thing that I really love working with is with that release of the breath because there's a whole bunch of stuff that's happening in the body with the release of the breath that holds quite a lot of potential. Plus, if we are thinking of those people that are particularly stressed and, you know, and have anxiety in their body, it is a little bit like they're kind of constantly holding their breath. And it's a little bit like, you know, they, they just sort of never really fully exhale. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I like to, I like to work with that. Um, but then there is this kind of other aspect that is making me think about the breath, and that's actually coming from me giving treatments. So in a treatment, there's two things. One is that I, I would most definitely work somehow on the diaphragm and potentially the whole diaphragmatic system in the body, the whole diaphragmatic pressure system in the body. So um, that's really important to, to regulate and to free up so there is actual communication and exchange and, com and, and, and interrelation happen within the body and super, super important for, for maintaining health and to be healing whatever might be going on, especially if there is anything like pain going on in the body. Um, and the other thing is that in a treatment, and you might even experience it um, in your in your yoga practice or another body mind practice, or you know, I don't know. Um, but sometimes the person comes to this still point, is what we call it, that moment of suspension, and it might literally be be like the person doesn't even kind of breathe anymore for a moment there's a real stillness the whole of the system comes to to stillness and it's a beautiful point it's kind of where the pivot is where something is going to come out the other side and then comes this big breath And actually that, that big breath, that full, big expansion into the whole of the body might even come without a big still point or even like a still point in the first place. But sometimes we have these really spontaneous big breaths where everything is just oh, expanding like big time. It's like, it feels like that breath is going on forever. And that is like, that's the gem. You know, when that happens in a treatment, I know, ah, okay. 
something is changing. Something has just moved, something has just shifted, something has just released. And we might get those breaths, you know, as we walk down the streets potentially. It doesn't, you know, need to be in, in a treatment, but in a treatment we are kind of uh, triggering that response potentially uh, in a way. Um, but for sure it might come in your in your own practice as well. So maybe it's it's familiar. So those two aspects from the the body work I do, I'm really playing with now in the yoga practice and in my prompts with with the breath, um, because I think there's so there's so much potency in that, and we can create this in our own practice, and we can use our yoga practice to 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 actually really create those those shifts we don't necessarily always need somebody's hands on on us to to create that shift to create that change so one thing i i quite like to do is and i noticed this in myself you know i often sort of start okay let's take three deep breaths and i kind of sort of go along with it and go into sort of demonstration mode and we take these three deep breaths and i'm i'm watching everybody and everybody is kind of going a bit over the top and and following an instruction has sort of gone a little bit, you know, sort of head down process. It is, they are like, oh, I've been told to take three breaths, so let's go and take three breaths. And I'm like, oh, that's like, that's not really what I meant. So I just added a couple of words to that. And I don't know if it's like making that much of a difference, but my intention actually is when I ask, okay, let's, you know, to start with take three deep breaths. It's actually that we take those three breaths just for ourselves. And those three breaths can look and feel and sound any which way you want. It's just for yourself. So, I don't know, let's try it. I mean, like, let's just take three deep breaths that are just for ourselves. Never mind what it looks like, if I'm demonstrating it or not, or if you feel like you need to follow in a certain instruction to have a certain outcome. Let's do it together. Let's just take three deep breaths simply for ourselves. I kind of just somehow feels different. It's really bringing me in a quite direct way, a lot closer into my into my central axis, into my kind of central being, into this place of of inner stillness of that you know where it's just that little bit quieter. Um, and so, if we want to breathe for ourselves then you know that already kind of means you need to breathe in any which way you you feel is right for you at that moment so that could be through the nose could be through the mouth it can be with a sound without a sound it can be with a movement without a movement it doesn't really matter because it's just for yourself it's very personal it's completely individual so you know again a kind of wandering why we're prescribing also the method of breathing very often in yoga or in, in all of these practices. Yes, I know there is an intention. There's a, sometimes even the science behind it, there is a lot of kind of success stories behind a certain type of breathing. There's a whole history and tradition behind it. I'm not disputing any of that. And I'm just questioning, you know, like, is that really always going to meet us where we are and what we really need in that moment? So we need to breathe as it feels good and as it really serves us in that moment in time. It will also be different every time. Like even those three breaths were different within themselves. And also often I breathe out through the mouth when I do this. And just now the first one felt like good and quiet and happy through the nose. So it will be different every day because I'll be in a different place every day. Um, so 
it's, it's also kind of about making it a little bit more natural, I guess, kind of really, you know, reconnecting with our, with our nature. That's also kind of what it feels like a little bit. And so often, and, and, and I, I also sometimes do it still and, and definitely used to do it, we are asking to breathe into something, like breathe into your toes, breathe into your back, breathe into this, breathe into blah, blah, blah. Okay, so technically we all know that's not possible. And I just wonder whether we can tune a little bit more into like, you know, a kind of bottom up approach and language in this, or, or actually name it kind of what it, what it actually means. So something I started to play with, and, and in fact, actually, I would kind of like to put this out here and see what you guys think. Um, it's like I started to say, so let's use the power of our imagination and just pretend for a moment that it's possible to send the breath along the spine or whatever it is that you want to breathe into and use whatever image might help you. Like maybe you're breathing along a hose pipe or maybe you are kind of drawing a line along with the breath or maybe you've got this kind of garden path that you walk along or maybe you're actually thinking about the, the, the real anatomy of the spine as you're sending the breath along the spine. Um, and, and so I'm kind of really trying to get into, because ultimately that it, it is a visualization. So, you know, how can I make it real is by, um, using something that's actually a lot more tactile, like something visual, it could be something audible, it could be a color, it could be a taste, it could be a feeling, a sensation, and really going into sensation of it. So that's kind of like a, that's another aspect, again, of just really working with the true nature of things. Um, I do quite like waking up the breath, for sure. Um, so I've started to you know, prompt just like a deep breath ever so often. And, and this is where I started to say, okay, let's do one of those freestyle breaths. So the freestyle breath basically means there's only one stipulation that it is a bit deeper than your normal breath. But everything else about that breath can be as you want it. So through the nose, through the mouth, with a sigh, with a sound, and this is like where I'm loving this whole online Zoom teaching scenario, because if you're in the comfort of your own home, you're not feeling too silly because nobody else can really hear you if you wanted to take a really big, 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 exaggerated breath, if it feels like that's what you want to need in that moment in time. So I, by just bringing in this kind of freestyle breath and the way you want to breathe, you're also waking up the breath waking up the whole body with that, letting the, the body actually come into more of its natural expression. And in a way, I'm kind of, yes, fair enough. It's like what I'm trying to, to sort of trigger almost is those, those spontaneous deep, deep breaths, those spontaneous breaths I was mentioning earlier that happen often in a treatment where that true change happens. And yeah, I mean, you know, fair enough, like maybe that doesn't always come straight away, that spontaneous breath. So let's just, let's just do them, you know. So why not have a go at uh, rem reminding the body actually of what those big, spontaneous, feel-good, freestyle breaths are like. Because when those spontaneous big breaths come, they feel great. And you know it because we've, we've all experienced those. Um, so I'm just kind of tapping into that body memory of that of that spontaneous deep breath where things can change. That's my idea behind it anyway. Um, and yes, with that, you know, for sure, we are regulating the nervous system with that that waking up, that that potency in that in that breath. That change, that spontaneous breath in the first place only comes because of a real change in the nervous system at that moment in time. So again, we're also tapping into the body memory there. Um, and, and where it kind of sort of takes us is into this very organic, natural, innate, pulsating, rhythmical relation 
that we are meant to be in with within ourselves and within the world uh, around us and then everything can kind of come into its full expression again down to the tissues the organs the cells even um and and maybe we can you know like just take an exhale again from time to time it just uh reminded me of a talk i did quite some time ago i think it was called something like um dare to exhale it's time something like that because uh, i was kind of feeling that during the pandemic we were sort of globally holding our breath <laughs> nobody kind of really you know dare to exhale and, and um in in waves that that feeling keeps coming up and i was giving a, a little private uh yoga session earlier this morning and we were actually working quite a lot with that uh diaphragmatic pressure system and really getting our tissues to 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 breathe and be in resonance with that expansion and emptying out and it just kind of i don't think i ever said that before in any kind of instruction but uh, it just kind of very naturally came right at the end uh going into final relaxation um i kind of ended up saying and and let the bones exhale and let the cells exhale and you know it's kind of it's it's that that the whole body kind of you know wants to wants to really breathe uh, it's a very natural innate process that is being numbed down through our western lifestyle through all of the stories of our life through all of the stresses and dramas through you know all of that a pandemic or <laughs> whatever else we are living through um and it's about reigniting that i think for for maintaining health balance on all levels uh, on all levels and and so i wonder you know so i'm just wondering about the instructions that we use to prompt the breath and i'm playing with it so um not saying that i've quite worked it all out yet but that's where i'm at <laughs> that's what i'm playing with right now uh so i would i would love to hear from you two things actually i would love to hear from you one maybe even more i don't know one definitely you know what are do you have any examples of how the breath really serves you maybe in a practice maybe in yoga maybe you are loving particular breathing technique in yoga i'd love to hear that and i'd love to hear exactly how that helps you and really works for you but see if you can really think about why why that is like tap into the sensation try it like figure it out do an inquiry i would really love to to get your opinion on it like so if you're doing a breath in a particular way in a particular situation it can be on your mat or off the mat like what is it about that way of breathing that really serves you in that moment of time so it'd be lovely to hear that please share if you joined me for those three deep breaths just for that we did just for ourselves would love to know what that felt like for you um and then like i said you know like this is kind of just where i'm at right now this is what i'm exploring so would just love to hear your thoughts on that hey like, am i making sense those of you who do yoga with me and and you would have noticed that i started doing this kind of freestyle breath and you can breathe the way you like through the mouth through the nose whichever way uh, but just deeper and the way that I'm using it in postures between postures before practice after practice I'm using it all all over and the way I'm prompting and using the breath so like I would love some feedback on that like am I just imagining it you know or is it working so also please comment I would love 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 a conversation on this really truly um because that's also really part of of me you know kind of taking this work further you know i need to i need to know if it's 
if it's working and not just for me, but you know, how, how is it working for you? And please, if it's not, then I want to know, like, especially <laughs> then I want to know. So please comment your experiences with breath, how you use it, why it works for you. How did the three breaths just for yourself feel? And those of you who practice with me on a regular basis, is this whole breathing stuff the way I'm working with it making any sense or not? Tell me, please comment. Thank you so much for, for watching today. I uh, have a beautiful weekend. I love you all. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.